back inside Schneider Arena. An area of the game, Mike, that the Boston College Eagles have certainly improved upon is on this breakout. Beautiful execution. Jillian Fade and McKenna Newkirk. McKenna Newkirk finds Daryl Watts bursting up the ice with speed. Daryl Watts gets a nice shot. Testing Aaron Frankel early on, and Mike, that... Sonny, Aaron Frankel picking up where she left off yesterday with a couple of big stops. And Aaron Frankel, she may be the difference maker again in this game tonight. Can see McKenna Newkirk doing a great job just looking to catch Aaron Frankel in an off angle, carrying it through that high slot area, but, uh, you know... Wide, RR, back out to Hobson. Minute 10 to go on the Northeastern power play. Anderson. Curls it out high, wrist shot, nice blocker save. And the Huskies doing a nice job on that point, taking the time and space that they move her. You don't see her need to stick handle much. As soon as that puck touches her tape, she's dishing it back off. Shot is blocked, rebound score. Northeastern takes a one nothing lead. As the first shot was blocked, but the trailer for the Huskies able to bang it home. And Northeastern. Leads it, one nothing. Andrea Renner with the goal. And capitalizing in these big moments is what Andrea Renner is known best for. Comes in with an incredible shot here. Skylar Fontaine with just a beautiful move to set up that initial shot. Fancy stick work, Andrea Renner going in hard towards the net with her stick on the ice. That's a nice view of that move by Skylar Fontaine. It's clear. And hustling to get it, it's going to be Skylar Fontaine. Again, the Huskies had four shorthanded goals on the year. Now BC up ice, 15 seconds remaining on a five on three. Here's Watts to the net, centering feed score. Lonergan ties it up on the power play. Well, Northeastern got caught in the BC zone, and the Eagles have tied it up. And Mike, cue this one up for the highlight reel. Daryl Watts to Katrin Lonergan, perfectly executed play. Up ice rush, Daryl Watts realizes that she has help coming with speed. Katrin Lonergan there to finish that play. Beautiful goal for the Boston College Eagles. For Lonergan, it is number 14 of the year. A power play, and Anderson carries back for the Huskies. Over the line in the middle, drop pass, Mueller is shot blocked, and a three on one the other way for the Eagles. Here comes Watts. Watts still holding, shooting, nice save, Franco, and she covers up. See here a nice rush, Kayla Barnes, Savannah Norcross supporting Daryl Watts on a three on one opportunity, but take a look at this challenge by Aaron Frankel coming out a bit to play Daryl Watts perfectly placed. Huskies trying to make it back-to-back -back championships. Two-on-one developing here. Lonergan toward the net, centering feed, and Franco got over and stoned Watts. Kayla Barnes heads up hockey, looks to find Katrin Lonergan with speed sprinting through the neutral zone, and who down the other side but Daryl Watts. And Mike, we talked about it in the open, Aaron Frankel's lateral movement, just how clutch that is for and the Eagles have done a real nice job. They had seven blocks in the first. Curious to see what the number is through two as they've got in the way of a lot of pucks. Here's a drop pass, Fontaine, and a wrist shot right into the midsection of MacArthur. Nice little leave behind there for Skylar Fontaine. And Skylar Fontaine, she has a nose for the net, Mike. Her shot is so dangerous. She has such a quick release. And you know, just continuing to bring the pressure. Alina Mueller leaves a beautiful pass for Skylar Fontaine, and MacArthur doesn't. And then Veronica Petty with a nice break. She was just about all alone, and there's that turnover. You see her make a one-two move, drive the net. MacArthur let up quite the rebound, just not a Husky there to pick up that secondary chance. Corner and scoop it out to center ice. Eagles come right back, Newkirk takes to the middle, cross pass shot, nice save, Franco, rebound, Newkirk, a drive, and it's blocked. Time winding down on the power play to the middle, and that shot blocked again. The Eagles have done a wonderful job blocking shots. Petty across, walking to the middle, Mueller, penalty is up, shot here, score! Alina Mueller!
with 5.01 to go, and the Huskies take a 2-1 lead. That broke through, and it's the freshman with her 21st of the year. And Alina Mueller comes in with the timely goal. You have to take advantage of that special team's play. She knew the time was winding down, and at this point there was no time left. She walks in through the high slot area, hit the net on that one, and that one trickles in past MacArthur. This was a huge goal for her. Get their attention, and the puck is dropped. Crowley throws her book on, they score! The Eagles tie it up off the faceoff. Boston College with a face-off win, and Flanagan ties it up. You and I were both looking at Coach Crowley throwing her notebook onto the ice. Meanwhile, Eagles have a clean face-off win to tie this one up. Rita Brown, she'll come back to Keller. Cross ice, one-timer by Barnes, save Frankel, rebound push wide, knocked toward the net, and Frankel somehow kept that puck out, and Eagle had slid in the net, that's Brown. Good opportunity for Boston College. And you can see the Eagles now engaging all five players in the offense. See Megan Kettler commanding the play, quarterbacking the play from the blue line, and then you just see Eagles crashing down. And I don't even know. That's one of those saves, Mike, where it's, you say, how'd you do that? Aaron Frangle with a tremendous glove save. Offside call as Anderson had not cleared the zone, and that's one of those things you look back on it now. Here's Allron over the line, across to the net, Hobson off the post. Brooke Hobson rang one off the post. And take a look at this post. Brooke Hobson was set up beautifully by Chloe Ayrar, and Mike, I think that you could hear this, this post from downtown Providence, just a couple minutes away from us. Brooke Hobson with a beautiful shot. And here's a look at the setup by Chloe Arar. Brooke Hobson in that shot. She had in regulation, after a series of events, here's a turnover, Anderson coming to the net. Anderson is in, a backhander score! Huskies win it in overtime! Back-to-back -back champions! And Cassidy Anderson, the senior hero for the Northeastern Huskies comes in with an incredible goal. Holds on to that puck, Mike, till just the right time. This was a battle for the books. So Anderson, the senior, able to take advantage of the steal. And the Huskies celebrate, and we talked about mental toughness. They see their opponent tie the game with less than five seconds to go. A valiant effort by Boston College, but Northeastern, the regular season champions, now have back-to-back -back Hockey East tournament titles. And you take a look, there is, you think there's nothing left, but then you see Cassidy Anderson dig deeper. She keeps her feet moving, holds on to that puck, a beautiful backhand pass, MacArthur. And Mike, you just dig deeper. You find a way to make it happen. You find a will to win. And Cassidy Anderson, what a play. So the Huskies, who won their first ever tournament title at Matthews Arena on home ice last year, and it's a pig pile in the corner on Anderson. They are able to go back to back as they will shake hands with Boston College. Oh, my God.